who has a curly hair, big eyes, and wears glasses, just like this picture. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm going to talk about more about myself of this <coughs> sentence. Sandy said, study hard, play hard, enjoy your life. This was come from a book, and the writer is also called Sandy. I really like this sentence, so I decided to use this sentence to introduce myself. First, study hard. I major in Taiwanese literature. Somebody may ask me, hey, Sandy, what was Taiwanese literature actually learn about? Do students in Taiwanese literature have to good at speaking Taiwanese? Actually, Taiwanese literature learning about three local languages. Taiwanese, Hakka, and uh, Puno of original languages. Not only do I write <coughs> the languages, uh, pronounce the languages, we also learn a lot from the culture of the languages. Such as these teachers, she always wear traditional clothes that show their culture and tell us the old story of their languages. So we also learn a lot from the culture. We also learn modern novels. And this, modern poems. This one was my favorite one. Does anyone want to guess that what the name of this poem? Okay. Yeah, right. Okay, the answer is the wall song. It was very special because it used the word to form a picture of the wall of the war and everybody see will say, Oh yes, I just know what the poem said because it's just a picture of uh, very soldiers like fighting. So everybody will understand the meaning of the poem. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, the second I'm going to share about play hard. In my free time, I also like to do a lot of interesting things to relax myself and have fun. Okay, the one thing I like to do is go to night market <coughs> with my friends. Uh, churches for delicious and cheaper food. And there are two foods that are my favorite and I just love it. It's okay, super long ice cream and pearl of tea. Those two are just so much watery and delicious that only five minutes after it's served, it will be gone because I will eat all of it. It was so delicious. <laughs> okay. Okay, another thing I want to share is folk dance. I also just usually just go to the folk dance club. Folk dance was a club which just um, dance a lot of songs from uh, different countries, such as American, Poland, or Romania. And those are just my good friends that also join the folk dance club. In school, sometimes we will do some performances, stand on stage and just wear <coughs> traditional costumes and to dance. Um, sometimes like the school have special meetings, special gatherings, and special guests. We will just perform it and have fun. Also, we will do some special relaxed things in the folk dance club. Like, okay, eat hot pot in the winter. Okay, eat together and we just cook together and just have a fun with just eating together in the cold winter. And we also went on a trip. This picture is about just uh, we go to Qigu on um, January 1st to celebrate the Happy New Year. We also play fireworks and we all had a very good time. Okay, the next one I want to share is English Corner. English Corner is one of the NCKU Ego Project. It was very fun because every uh, English native speakers will stand on stage and give you a topic. And the um, students here will just form a group, maybe three or four students, one group, and to talk about this topic and share the opinions with their friends or something. And I just learned a lot from the speakers and the friends. I also make a lot of friends there. So I just enjoy it and I just have fun. Okay. Okay, the last thing I want to share is how can I enjoy my life? In my opinion, I think that people, if you want to have a well-being and happier life, you have to set a goal and just achieve it as best as you can. To me, because of what I major, my ambition is to be an office speaker, that one day I can stand on the world stage talking about Taiwan's culture and Taiwan's interesting things to the foreigners. And that's my ambition. So, that's all about me. Study hard, play hard, enjoy your life. That's what the writer Sandy said, and me, Sandy, myself, 
are doing now. Thanks for your attention.